Welcome to our 2020 Leadership Award Ceremony. It's a different one for sure, because here I am with the backdrop of Holman, the Holman Room uh, with me, but it's empty. And so campus just doesn't seem the same without everyone here, but we will still take the time to recognize the many amazing students that shaped this campus in so many different ways. Leadership happens everywhere and happens all the time. So even though you're not here, we know and we see the leadership examples that you are demonstrating even in this virtual environment. So it's great that you've taken the time to join us to recognize those students who have really had an amazing impact on Wheaton College. While we wish you were here, we're still going to be thankful for all that you've done and recognize you with this uh, ceremony. I'm going to turn it over to Nicole Lombardi, who is going to present the Horizon First Year Leadership Award. Nicole. The Horizon First Year Leadership Award celebrates and encourages a first year student who demonstrates enthusiasm for Wheaton and exhibits the potential to use their talent to make a positive impact during their time here. The award finalists are Dolan Corsino, Nora Gross, Guthrie Hartsfield, and Alyssa Myers. The recipient of this year's Horizon First Year Leadership Award is Guthrie Hartsfield. Congratulations. Please welcome Rachel Pink to present the Eunice Caldwell Leadership Award for Outstanding Sophomore. Serving as the first principal of Wheaton Female Seminary, Eunice Caldwell's strength, commitment, and leadership contributed to the progress of the seminary during its early years. This award is given to a sophomore who has shown initiative and leadership through their first two years at Wheaton. The award finalists are Eva Danielson, Elizabeth Eaton, Renee Grobler, and Kellya Karambisi. This year's Eunice Caldwell Leadership Award recipient is Eva Danielson. Congratulations, Eva. Please welcome Lisa Yenish to present the Caroline Cutler Metcalf Leadership Award for Leading Student Athlete. Thank you, Rachel. I'm proud to present this award um, on behalf of the athletics department. Caroline Cutler Metcalf was an innovator, always in search of ways to expand and improve the curriculum of the Wheaton Female Seminary. She was committed to strengthening the athletic program and did so through her superb character, presence, and ability. This award is given to a student who through leadership and commitment has strengthened the Wheaton College athletic program. The award finalists are Catherine Chura, Elizabeth Helmreich, Michaela Pucci, and Natalie Wind. The recipient of this year's Caroline Cutler Metcalf Award is Natalie Wind. Congratulations. Next, I'd like to introduce Alicia Moquin, who will present the Emily Susan Hartwell Leadership Award for Leader in Global Awareness. Thank you, Lisa. A graduate of the Wheaton Female Seminary, Emily Susan Hartwell pioneered the development of industrial schools and orphanages in China and was awarded the Order of the Golden Grain by the President of the Republic of China in 1918. This award is given to a student who has made a significant contribution in motivating others to action in the areas of social, political, and global responsibility. The award finalists are Aki Marzouk Jamal and Helder Priest. This year's recipient of the Emily Susan Hartwell Leadership Award is Helder Priest. Now, please welcome Danny Roberts to present the Landmark Leadership Award for Leader in Gender Equality. Thanks, Felicia. Wheaton's transition to co-education was a landmark event for the college. Established by Wheaton's first co-educational class of 1992, the landmark award is presented to a student who has demonstrated a commitment to gender issues throughout their years at Wheaton. 
The award finalists are Joe Rossman and Amber Marie Wright. The recipient of this year's Landmark Leadership Award is Amber Marie Wright. Congratulations. I would like to introduce Kathy Peltola to present the Richard and Virginia Thornburg Leadership Award for Leadership and Community Service. Thank you so much, Danny. As Governor of Pennsylvania and U.S. Attorney General, Richard Thornburg exemplified the dedication of service that is one of the great strengths of this nation. Virginia Thornburg's involvement in human services was nurtured by her education at Wheaton. Her efforts on behalf of children and adults with disabilities have been widely acknowledged. This award is given to a student who has demonstrated substantial commitment to public and human service. The award finalists are Megan Darrell, Kimberly Dugan, and Elizabeth Helmreich. The recipient of this year's Richard and Virginia Thornburg Leadership Award is Megan Darrell. Congratulations, Megan. Next, I'd like to introduce Jessica Kujai to present the Eleanor Augusta Norcross Leadership Award for Leader in the Arts. Thanks, Cassie. Eleanor Augusta Norcross, an 1872 graduate of the Wheaton Female Seminary, founded the Fitchburg Arts Museum and has her artistic work hung in the Museum of Decorative Arts at the Louvre in Paris. This award is given to a student whose leadership has advanced the cultural and performing arts at Wheaton. The award finalists are Emma Burke, Taylor Kaufman, Isabel King, and Shannon Sullivan. The recipient of this year's Eleanor Augusta Norcross Leadership Award is Taylor Kaufman. Congratulations, Taylor. Please welcome Raquel Ramos to present the Wheaton Ujima Leadership Award for the Leader in Multiculturalism. Thanks, Jessica. Ujima is a Swahili word which symbolizes the concept of building and maintaining the community through education and support. Ujima reminds us all that true peace is not the absence of tension, but the presence of justice. This award is given to a junior or senior who has demonstrated dedication to issues of multicultural diversity. The award finalists are Anushka Agarwal, Avi Chaudhary, Anesu Makufa, and Crystal Sanko. And the recipient of this year's Wheaton Ujima Leadership Award is Anesu Makufa. Congratulations, Anesu. Now, please welcome Donnie Tavares to present the Patricia King Leadership Award for active first year or sophomore campus leader. Thank you, Raquel. So as president of the College Government Association, Patricia King, class of 63, developed the leadership skills she would carry with her throughout her professional life. This award is given to a first year or sophomore who has shown significant progress in developing leadership skills through active participation in campus activities. The award finalists are Eva Danielson, Delia McLaughlin, Justin Martinez, and Harry Topol. The recipient of this year's Patricia King Leadership Award is Justin Martinez. Congratulations, Justin. Now I'd like to introduce Katrina Thompson to present the Ruth Capers McKay Leadership Award for active junior or senior campus leader. As a student, Ruth Capers McKay was an outstanding leader in campus activities. Mrs. McKay has demonstrated dedication to Wheaton over 60 years. This award is given to a member of the junior or senior class who's demonstrated dedication and commitment to the college through active campus leadership. The award finalists are Stephen Flowers, Sophia Hatsikos, Maya Hay, Colleen Sedney, and the recipient of this year's Ruth Capers McKay Leadership Award is Maya Hay. Congratulations, Maya. Now, please welcome Shea Gregory Poku to present the Eliza Bailey's Wheaton Leadership Award for Groundbreaking Leader. 
Eliza Beatty Wheaton was most singularly responsible for the founding of the Wheaton Seminary in 1834. Her unselfish commitment to Wheaton and strong principles serve as a legacy of leadership and responsibility. This award is given to a junior or senior dedicated to adding a new dimension to campus life by founding or revitalizing a program or office at Wheaton. The award finalists are Angel Bird, Maggie Marie, Amber Marie Wright. This year's Eliza Bailey's Wheaton Leadership Award recipient is Angel Bird. Congratulations, Angel. Now, please welcome Lindsay Aguilar to present the Helen Brzezinski Leadership Award for Outstanding Senior. Big Shea. The Helene Brzezinski Class of 1980 was Chairwoman of Residential Hall Council. Her enthusiasm for life, optimism, and dedication to the Wheaton community serve as an inspiration to all. This award is given to an outstanding senior dedicated to the Wheaton community who has enriched the campus environment through contributions to student life and commitments to others. The award finalists are Sophia Hatzikos, Mac Jones, Kiki Marlin, and Catherine Roy. And the recipient of this year's Helene Krasinski Award goes to, shoot, you can never get these things open. Catherine Roy. Congratulations, Catherine. Please welcome Dean Zach Irish to present the Lions Pride Awards to members of the class of 2020. Thank you, Lindsay, and congratulations to the winner so far. The Lions Pride Award is given by the Dean of Students to the members of the senior class in special recognition of their service, leadership, and dedication to enhancing the Wheaton community. This year's Lions Pride recipients are Sophia Hatsikos, Stephen Flowers, Colleen Sedney, Tariq Martin, Dominic Torres, Emma Stump, J.D. Souza, Ja'Kai Edwards, Carly Venditti, and Caitlin McGathlin. Congratulations. I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate all of the award recipients today. I would also like to take the opportunity to recognize all the amazing nominations that we received in the students that represents all the great work that's done here at Wheaton. Even during these unprecedented times, our students continue to amaze me with their compassion, leadership, and commitment. I'm incredibly proud to be part of a community with such stewards of service, responsibility, and accountability. Thank you for your continued dedication to your peers and the institution. As President Hanno mentioned earlier, this ceremony may look different than traditional, but the feeling of achievement and recognition is as strong as ever. Thank you to the presenters and thank you for all who attended today's event to celebrate the amazing leadership of our students. In a time of so much uncertainty, I am grateful for the talented leaders of tomorrow. Please take care and we hope to see you soon.